Hello, College Algebra Student. Uh, this video is for Chapter 3.4, Part 2. Uh, continue with composition of function, but we are actually uh, looking at the opposite. If someone gives you a very complicated function, um, you notice that after we com composite two functions together, they become more complex, right? So we want to break it into simple one, into two functions so that we know oh you go from g of x first and then go to f of x so basically we would have the more complex complicated function and we want to rewrite it into two functions so that we can look at it as a composition and then the g and the f are simpler so very often what we, we what we want to do is uh, we will look at the inside as the beginning function. So this is the g of x, because it's inside, right? And then the outside function is the f of x. f of x is square root of something. So um, we want to write x of x equal to f o g of x. That means f of g of x. And obviously you can see g is inside and f is outside. So then you would say, well, I would just pretend that g is this one. g of x would define as 5 minus x squared. So what will be f then? f would be square root of something. So f of x would be square root of what sort of something? Something is x. Because when I, when I plug it in, I would plug in this whole thing inside. Okay, so this is my answer. G of x is the inside, f of x is the outside. And once you do that, so, so x of x will become this, 5 minus x squared. Because we define, we, we would say that x of x ha, it is a composition. That's how we split a very complex function into two. 5 minus x squared is a very simple function. It's our two-kit function. Square root x is our two-kit function. But this is not. But we are able to split it like that. Second example, um, h of x equal to x minus 4 and then to the power at 6. So this is a complex function. And obviously, h of x can be written as a composition of two functions. f is the outside, g is the inside. Right? So what do you think the inside would be? Obviously, this is the inside. So we will say g of x is x minus 4. And if that is the case, what is f of x? f of x is this x minus 4. This is something that I plug in 6 times. So we we'll just x to the 6. This is the answer. So when you are doing your f of g, you will say, OK, this x minus 4 is going to plug in here and will become x of x. Example 3, I have a function that is not in the two-kit function. It has 1 over square root of 4 minus x. So um, what would be a good function? What is inside? It seems like inside is this, right? 4 minus x. But it's also the under a denominator. No, so, so there's two ways of doing it. So I'm going to do it two ways. One is think of the denominator as the whole inside function. So I can say g of x is actually square root of 4 minus x. And then my x, my, my outside, which is f of x, f of x is outside, right? It's one, one over these things. Because this is the g of x that I want, right? I plug in here. So that's one way. Um, I can break it this way. I can say, um, my g of x is really the inside for minus x. But then my f of x would be, Instead of 1 over 4 minus x, I say 1 over square root x. Because I will do 1 over square root and then I put the 4 minus x inside. So both of these are correct answer. And you can see how you can split um, function into different way. And um, you can actually split it into um, three function, three composition also. So in calculus, actually this in this particular one can be split into three function, you can put it into two function. So it's not, there's a multiple way of doing this. So that's end of 3.4.
and we will do a new video on 3.5, which is transformation of function.